Assalamu alaikum and uh, welcome to our IELTS general uh, writing task one. And today we will discuss about the eight rules of letter tone. So let's see what we can learn from it. Letter tone man apni ki bhasai baki languages kulu use korben ba grammar portions kulu bolte parin any sort of thing you can relate here. So first of all let's go with personal pronouns. Personal pronouns mane hoche I you egula to amra jani. Formally apnar ki korte hobe avoid personal pronouns where possible like could the volume of the music be decreased versus could you decrease the volume of the music? Could you decrease the volume of the music? No. You would say, could the volume of the music be decreased? So, personal pronouns should be avoided in formal letters. Semi-formally use personal pronouns or not depending on what you are trying to say. Mane? Semi formal kotra mone ragbenji adu formal adha informal mixture of the both of it. So an informal use personal pronouns, you can use anything you like to. Formal tarmanamra ki janlam, we can't use personal pronouns. So uh, to easily go for it, you can write in a passive mood of it or something going with the requested form polite sense then if i go with directness je kono ache na je shorashori bole dewa ekhon amra bondhuder sathe bole debo bhai ekdom mane ei kaj ta tomar bhalo lage tor pochondo hoy nai ba tomar bhalo lage nai mane direct kintu apne formally you need to be less yes and that here i have find this sort of problem can we or could we Give a, make a solution of it or could you give me a suggestion that how I can bring up a solution from um, bring up a thing from it. So less direct. More or less direct, more direct. Okay, half half. Then active and passive sentences. So formal lighting a more passive sentence jeta ami o je first of all jokhon personal pronoun kotha ta bolechen tokhon ami ami bole diyechi je passive mode e likhle onekta apnar personal pronouns er dorkar hoy na tokhon passive mode e you can go with putting uh, or writing this things so this is mix and more active sentence mane general writing je to directly kotha bolchen eto ghuriye pechi to ar bolar kichu na apnar direct shorashori no uh, generally bole dilen uh, then the fourth uh, thing is that model verbs yes. model verbs formally could and would informally can and will this both of it word choice use the fanciest words such as purchase or decrease this one, mixture. Informal, use the phrasal verbs such as pick up, turn down. So, you can use korchi. Phrasal verbs, you can use it. But this one, no. Very much. I, I, I mean, not very much. I'm going to say that it's a formal words you need to go for your formal letter. Now, the thing is that you should also learn this sort of vocabularies. That which words are formal and which words are informal. Because more or less we don't use so much formal words in our saying or writing section. So this will help you out if you learn. It. Then if I go with the sixth portion, noun or verb. So use the noun form if possible. Complain, not complained or complaining, something like that. Request, 
and informally use the verb form if possible. Complain, ask, need, recommend, suggest, invite. You can, I can complain, request, requirement, recommendation, suggestion, invitation. But my formal ambrajati noun, informal ambrajati verb. Letter uh, afterwards, in the next sort of things, we will discuss this that. A gulo rupur basis kore amra letter tones gulo. Inshallah, for a video te amra discuss korbo. Then seven contractions. Formal letter to contractions use kora jabena. Informally, you can go with it. Semi formal apnar avoid contractions korban. Adverbs use adverbs to soften language such as kindly or quiet. Use adverbs to make language friendlier, such as very, really, pretty. Tarman, that can formal language a key ditchen, acta which is soften language kurchen, or eta the key kurchen, up the more friendlier version of that. When up the J Thorne Jinish, when a formal letter J to up the officially lechen, up the key chachen. The shade and up the Bishoy take a consider gore. Whatever you are, whatever the subject is, or whatever the matter is, they should. Think about your problem or think about the topic you are going to say or discuss in the letter. And informally, they can, when they, apne apna friendly version, they can shop kitchu allowed, they can type it. And then this is the eight things you need to consider for your letter tone. So, I'm Rabarik to Dekhe Ashi. First of all, personal pronouns, Amra. Formal letter avoid korbo informal use kor te parben. Then directness, less direct, more direct, active passive, passive sentence amra legbo. Formal letters gulo te active sentence gulo legbo amra informal. Then model verbs, model verbs amra use korbo could and would because eta amra jani cheta. Apne jokon a polite sense a bakub higher authority of kubi respect the kotha bolshin. We go with would and could. Informal a can will. Word choice a formal words and informal words. Noun or verb a amra ki janlam. Formal a you need to go with noun. Informal a verb. And no use of contractions in formal. Semi formal, informally you can use contractions. Adverbs are belay, apne formally use korben, jano apne bishoita consider correct, a shablil bhasha arki. Informally, apne hoche, uh, normally you can go with anything. So, these are the eight things you need to consider for your general writing task here, letter tonic.